Hey guys, how are you? It's Bricks Nostalgia here, and finally I managed to finish my latest uh, LEGO project. So, um, what I would like to do with you today is uh, to go through it and uh, show you how things uh, came out. Okay, for who doesn't know, the project I'm talking about is the one that you see here, is uh, that I made my own custom made version of uh, this accessory set, set number 7860 it's an accessory set for the Lego 12 volt uh, trains and uh, I'm not gonna go through details of how it works but if you just google very briefly on uh, YouTube you're gonna find a couple of uh, YouTubers that posted a couple of reviews, uh, detailed reviews about it, okay? Uh, long story short uh, it just that it works like that. If you press in these couple of buttons, you will allow the um, the lights to turn from green to red, and um, also the system will control the power that goes uh, to this section of the rails, allowing the tr allowing the train to move um, or to stop at your wish. Uh, these sets cost a lot of money. They cost anything between fifty to seventy pounds, for what I know and uh, I'm not really not spending so much money in this type of accessory set so what I decided to do was uh, as you're going to see today is, was to build up my own custom made version of it and uh, it turned out to work um, I'm going to split this whole thing in three uh, different parts in three different videos in the very first one which is this one I'm going to show you a demonstration and a brief uh, uh, overview of uh, the setup and then on the second one I'm going to I'm going through the circuit that is behind the little cust cust um, electronic board that I made that controls the whole thing and in the third one I'm gonna give you some detailed uh, uh, a few details about the components I used to um, make this project in so in case you're going to be interested on reproducing it for uh, your own layout so you're going to have all the informations you need okay so uh, let's move on to demonstration as you can see here I have my 7745 waiting at the station um, this is the second model that you see um, that is present in the instructions booklet is the second alternate, alternate build as you can see here there is the traffic lights that at the moment is on the right uh, on the red lights on here we have the transformer and uh, here I have my control panel and uh, you can see this black bar here this is the going to be the one that I'm going to use in order to allow the train to move and stop okay um, so let's do it what I'm going uh, to do now is uh, to press this uh, uh, black bar here to this direction and what is supposed to happen is that uh, um, the, um, the train is supposed to start moving and uh, um, the light is supposed to turn from red to green okay so let's do it and see what happens three two one as you can see now the train is moving the lights turn to green and the train will simply keep moving until I'm going to push the bar once again in that direction and as you could see the train stopped and uh, the lights uh, turn again from green to red okay now um, a fundamental and necessary condition that has to be satisfied in order for the whole system to work uh, as if we were using the original accessory set is that this system has to still work um, even if I invert the polarity of the transformer uh, that's what I'm going to do now and what I'm going uh, what we're going to see is that everything is going to work the same with the only difference that the train is going uh, to run backwards um, this is a fundamental condition and uh, uh, you will see in the second video how things have been done in order to make sure that this was going to be possible okay so what I'm going to do now is uh, to change the polarity of the train and I'm going to press once again the bar and uh, let's see what happens okay so 
let's do it and what you can see that the train now is going backwards and the um, traffic light went from uh, red to green as expected okay so now the train will keep going for as long as I want until I press the bar once again and you can see everything stopped again and things went as expected okay so guys for the demonstration that's it uh, now we're gonna move to a very brief uh, um, setup overview and then we're gonna move to the second video where um, we are gonna go through the details of uh, the electric board and uh, everything else okay so I'll see you later guys okay guys so I got the train out of the way I opened the box and uh, I'm gonna give you a very brief overview of the setup before we move to the second video okay so as you can see here I have uh, the transformer that is powering up the whole system through this cable over here while through this cable on this side the power is uh, transported to this little breadboard and on this little breadboard there's some uh, um, components uh, um, connected to it this one is not of your interest at the moment but this one is the one we are talking about today as you can see is the little bar uh, with a couple of switches in it that is going to be the one that is going to transport the power through this wire to this little custom made board uh, we are going to go through these in details on the second video and this one is going to power up through some wire the traffic lights here and through this other cable over here it is going to uh, power up or down at uh, your wish this section of the tracks uh, allowing the train to move or stop okay um, before last thing before we move to the next video is that I wanted to make two considerations that are going to be useful for understand to understand everything later on in the following videos the very first one is that you can see there is going to be there are one here and another one here there are two gaps uh, that I made in order to isolate this whole section of the truck which is going to be the one that is going to be controlled by the board and also here if we go back to the control bar what you can see is that this control bar controls two switches okay now uh, everything will be explained more in details on the second Video. So guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now and uh, I'll see you in a minute for on the second video. Okay, see you later